Recently, we have seen a trend of gaming smartphones by a bunch of OEMs. They are planning and selling their some phones like gaming devices. But does it really matter to buy one of these gaming phones? Or should you just buy a simple flagship? And why companies are making these gaming phones? I am Usneer Ahmed with the Tech Box and you are watching Tech In Depth. So let's divide the discussion into 3 segments. Let's start with the performance. Companies want you to believe that the gaming smartphones are more powerful than a smartphone. They are more like portable gaming solutions. They advertise that Wizard phones like Shark and ROG phone share the same philosophy. But actually, they are still powered by ARM processors. These same SOCs that power other regular smartphones. ROG phone ROG phone has overclocked CPU and Razer phone has a bigger battery than both iPhone or Galaxy S9, which are considered the best smartphones in the market. And the Razer phone has fun firing speakers which are not easy to cover with hands like other smartphones. Number 2. Aesthetics I'll try to give this simple as far as possible. Consider we have a non-gaming smartphone and we have a gaming smartphone. The latter will look more like a gamer because it's got angular design and beefy RGB lighting. Sounds familiar? These gaming devices are widely associated with RGB and angular design. And that's the case with these phones. They look beefy, angular and they are associated with RGB colors. And in my opinion, they get the attention first when considering the term gaming or gamer and whatsoever. Number 3. Accessories And this is the most exciting one. With the revolution of touch screens, we have lost many benefits of physical keys. We still exist on console, so the companies are trying to bring them back to mobile users. Xiaomi Backpack is one of the first companies who added a joystick companion or accessory for the smartphone. ROG phone can turn into a sort of Nintendo Switch with some ROG accessories. And more accessories are available for this type of purposes. The more the accessories, the more the money will company make. And it also makes the console gamers happy. So then, should you buy one of these? Well, choice is yours. If you think you are a heavy gamer and give great importance to RGBs and physical controls and that kind of gamer stuff, then they can be your next pick. But if you just want a powerful smartphone for regular use, do yourself a favor. Just get a regular smartphone. And that's all for this video. If you enjoyed it, give it a like and don't forget to share your point of views about these gaming smartphones in the comment section below. I would love to read your tech analysis. I would love to read your tech analysis in the comments. You can also follow us on social media. I'll see you in the next video.